Destination is on the right. The reason that this uh, this job has a good rate is mainly because it's a driver assist, which means I gotta load and unload. Now, in most cases, it's no touch freight, which means the driver does not touch anything. We don't lift anything, nothing. It's all done by forklifts. But if there is a case where you do have to lift something, you always ask for a driver assist, always ask for more money. That was nice of Todd to help me load this up. If not, I would have had to go up there. It would be like burpees. Up, down, up, down, up, down. I'm good on that. Still a good workout. I'm gonna go ahead and strap this down using three straps. One for this row, one for that row, one for that row. All right, so we got these things. You put them on the corner of the boxes so they don't get squished. All right, so the way I used to strap down my stuff was um, I would take all the slack out and then just go ahead and ratchet it down. But the thing is, you want about three or four revolutions around your spindle here. So when you're moving around in the van and it's jerking everything, it's, it can easily pull it out if you just have like one revolution around the spindle. You want to make sure you leave a little bit of slack about that much just depending on how big the freight is and then see i got a few revolutions on there all right there we go voila let's do it all right so we're back with another one guys i'm really excited about this episode mainly because a, I get to go to Phoenix, Arizona, where my cousin lives and my uncle and everybody. I was just there, uh, but I didn't get to spend much time with them. So maybe I can plan out a little bit better this way because I have time to deliver this time. Um, but I'm delivering for the Phoenix Suns. So that's pretty dope. It's playoff time and I got some uh, playoff flyers that I'm delivering. So it's crazy. It's coming all the way from here in Minnesota and going all the way down there. Uh, 1,545 miles. I did 60 miles of deadhead uh, yesterday and uh, now we're going to go. I'll see y'all in Phoenix, Arizona. Peace. In a quarter mile, turn left on the Northwest Boulevard. All right, so we just got some gas here. We are pretty much in the middle of Nebraska, in the middle of nowhere. And uh, we just got 27 cents off a gallon at the, uh, at the pump here using the Upside app. I get 12 cents off a gallon using the app. And then because one of you guys signed up, clicking the link below in one of my videos, signed up recently i get an extra 15 cents off a gallon so it's it combines on this one so it's 27 cents off a gallon i got 18.9 gallons so you do the math because i'm not going to be able to do that that's a lot of decimals number movements no thank you but we're gonna hit the road um probably drive another six seven hours today and then uh call tonight finish off tomorrow should be there in the afternoon sometime um so yeah, that's where we're at. Listen to them talk.
talking to you. They're like, why is this cow outside? Good morning, good morning from I don't know where in Colorado. Beautiful day, beautiful day. Come on, Joe, let's get some grass. Slept in a little bit, slept uh, six hours, which was good. Um, we should make it there by about seven o'clock tonight. Right now it says six, but we're gonna take our time, make a few stops. Um, yeah, man, what a beautiful town. Look at this. Small, everybody probably knows everybody. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> Let's do it. Driving through Haswell, Colorado, I see this abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. No other houses around it, nothing. All right, here we go. And curiosity got the best of me. I had to go check it out. Hello? Obviously, I didn't bring Bubba because there's nails and stuff all around. And just for your information, I put on my work boots from when I did construction before. And uh, I'm all right, so no worries, y'all. Well, this is bedroom one in this immaculate house. You can see you have a nice closet here. And then you got the amazing living room. Look at this. Vaulted ceilings. Any money down there? Budweiser, look at that thing. This is the kitchen. Look at this. Bedroom two. Man. Wonder when this house was built. Bathtub. Tiny bathtub. At least we didn't find any dead bodies. That's good. Look at that car back there. All right, let's do it. Back on the road. Bob was probably worried about me. Why'd you go without me? <laughs> Just you and me out here, Bubba Joe. You wanna go adventure? Come on.
Can you get mine next? <laughs> Doing a great job. <laughs> mine definitely needs it. Like, don't they have anything else to do? You know, all these bugs. Thank you very much. You as well. Where are you, where are you headed? Denver. Oh, okay. Nice. I just came from that way, but not from Denver, but from Colorado. Oh, cool. Yeah. Are you going to uh, Denver to have fun? Or? No, I have a doctor's appointment. Oh, well, I hope it all goes well for you. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to Arizona. Oh, what part of Arizona? Uh, Phoenix. I'm dropping off for the Phoenix Suns. Uh, some flyers for them. Yeah, so I'm going there, and then I just haul freight cross country. I got my dog with me, and I'll give you something, okay? This will give you safe traveling. Really? Get out. From a native woman. That is huge. You put it on your visor. I'm gonna put it right there. Yes. What's your name? Audrey. Audrey. Carlisle. I'm gonna pray for you, okay? Yes. Thank you so much. You drive safe, all right, yeah, Audrey? You're gonna be safe out there. Yeah. Thank you, Audrey Carlisle. That's cool. See that bubba? That's blessed. So I've been uh, fasting for the past 48 hours. Um, I started doing a little intermittent fasting and I liked it. So now I'm trying to like push the envelope a little bit. But I haven't really eaten anything in 48 hours. So in Santa Fe, there's an Outback Steakhouse about 20 minutes away right now. So I called ahead and placed the order for an 11 ounce sirloin steak, a sweet potato, and some broccoli. Oh, it sounds so good. Oh yeah, and another reason I'm cutting back on the, uh, I would go to gas stations and always get little things to eat, little knickknacks, snacks and such. And when I sat down to do my budget, I mean, this extra money I'm spending on eating now and all this extra stuff really adds up. So I want to find a way to cook in the van that's efficient and easy to clean up. Maybe like an air fryer or something. If you guys have any ideas, share with me below. Um, but I really want to start cooking in the van. Um, but like in the meantime, I'm trying this uh, fasting thing and it's working out so far. I don't have any complaints or downsides really to it. Uh, I sleep well, which I've always slept good. Um, and I have energy, you know, pretty good energy, which is wild, you would think I wouldn't. But I've been drinking a lot of water. Uh, I'm still doing, I'm doing creatine when I go to the gym and stuff like that. And also um, like a post-workout protein mix in my drinks and my waters. Um, yeah, I just feel like I'd share a little bit more in depth with you guys other than just the same old here I'm picking up, here I'm going, gas, upside, Bubba Joe's butt, and uh, yeah, something different. Thank you, bro. Just a water with lemon. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You're good. About to dig in. Bubba's going to get a bite. He knows it. He's ready. Here you go, Joe. There you go, my guy. Drink some water. Yeah. All right. Let's get this party on the road. We got some steak for Bubba. Some little pieces. <laughs> That's for later. He's over here looking at me like, because I know he smells it. You know what? You want one? You can have one right now. Might as well just have it all now. It's just going to sit up there. You deserve it all, buddy. Want to lick? All right, that's enough. <laughs> no, there's more. Go ahead. All gone. All right, according to Google, we are 472 miles, seven hours and 20 minutes away.
Bubba and I are just enjoying the uh, sunset to the west and the moonrise to the east. We're about two hours from our destination. Um, if you watch my previous video, you know my cousin lives in Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, I called her when I was heading this way from Minnesota the other day. This is at my cousin's spot, and that's a small spot I get to park in right there. So let's see if we can do it. Not too bad, not too bad. Good morning, good morning. It is 6.30 a.m. We're about to head out. The arena is about 20 minutes away. Jimmy? Yeah. How you doing? I'm Brandon. Jimmy. Nice to doing? meet you. It's a pallet's worth. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna unload it. So it's for BJ. Okay, cool. I got a uh, a dolly if you want me to just bring it in there or something like that. Or... Okay. It's nice to unload early, really quick. I mean, right now it's 10 o'clock on the East Coast, so things are already moving and shaking. Like I said, I don't mind if I don't get something that's urgent today. So I can spend time with family, but if I do get something, you know, just how the game goes. It's crazy how quiet it is right now, but like when things get going around here, how, how crazy it is. Yeah, no, I, I definitely like dropping off early. Minnesota. Isn't that crazy that they order this stuff all the, they, and they pay me to deliver it? And it's not cheap, you know? So it's like, you wonder, like, why don't they just do it here? You would think they buy a machine or two and just print stuff. But who knows? How long you been doing it for? Wow. 25 years with the Phoenix Suns? My man. What? You've got the coolest job ever, dude. What a, that's awesome. You from around here like you grew up here? Ah, uh, okay, military, and then you started doing this, huh? That's great, man. That's a blessing, Jimmy. No doubt, no doubt. I'd have to say so. No doubt. How long did you serve? Eight. Eight years? It's a long time. It's a long time for doing that. Oh, you ain't got to do it. I need I need to work out anyways, man. They pay me so for this. What part did you say this is? Min, uh, Minnesota, like near Minneapolis. Yeah. It was like a 1600 mile trip. Oh, is it? I, I think you might be right. I think I heard that before. Mr. Purple Rain himself. Oh, her age group, every woman's favorite person. Get out of here. 
Like Michael Jackson had like like that innocent like fan base. Like he had that raunchy like you know adult fan base. You know. Yeah. Thank God. I do now. Yeah, I worked for somebody for like 17 months, and then I I got. Well, no, they, like the people who hired me told me, you know, work hard, save your money, buy your own van. You don't got to work for me or anybody else ever again, you know? And that's what made me kind of do this because no one's ever told me how to not work for them, you know? They always try to keep you under the thumb. So, yeah, but it's a small mom and pop business and they're just very open with me. And so that's been a great opportunity, a very, very big blessing, man. Just like you, you know, things just come, you don't expect them. I wasn't looking for this, you know? It definitely found me. But I got my dog with me. Yeah, he's a border collie pit. He heard you. <laughs> oh, yeah, blue healers. Yeah, they're cool. They got a lot of energy. Yeah. Older, younger? Hope you have a good rest of your day. Let me see if there's a copy here. I don't know how this works. That's just one sheet for me. Um, here you can have that. Thank you, Jimmy. Have a great day, my man. Y'all don't work too hard now, all right? It's Friday. It is Friday. That's how I didn't even know it was Friday. Now for the breakdown of the numbers. This job paid $1,600, but we got a $250 driver assist for loading and unloading. $291 in gas. 224 for a dispatch fee, which is 14%, leaves me with 1335 net, not including my van payment or insurance, which is $3,000 a month. So we just finished off, and uh, before I left, Jimmy stopped me. He's like, uh, I wanted to give you something. So he gave me this playoff shirt. It's pretty dope. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm gonna stop here. I parked on the side of the road downtown here. We're gonna uh, take Bubba for a walk talk to dispatch see what they got cooking and then uh, head back to my cousin's house hang out with them enjoy some quality time and uh, see what today holds for us so i'll keep you posted if you like the content please like comment subscribe share with your friends on social media tell your neighbors about expediting america you know let's just spread the word guys let's keep it going i appreciate all the love